minus two last night. Time to wake up the big block. I got a little bit of work to do. Got to get rid of this iron. And uh, what we got back here. Woo! Got a whole bunch of batteries to cash in. Some number one iron. Clean out the dump bed. Use it for other things. Four fifty four Edelbrock Carb Electric Choke Charbroil Edition. See if she chars. Usually one pump does her, but it's real cold, so we'll just uh, give it a couple. I admit defeat. It's a little cold. I put this uh, Walmart 800 cranking amp ever start in there. Fairly new battery. Uh, see where it's from. Bought in January of 21. So it's exactly a year old. Was starting it up good, but it's been. Probably about five days since I fired it up. And uh, that's all she had, so. <sighs> Crank her right up, 225. Really juice her. And uh, <sighs> see what happens. Starter's cold. Wow. Starter's never done that before.
ver. out of this heater motor because I uh, owned this truck for a long time and never did get around to fixing the heater box. Got rotten out from the mice living in it when it sat before me and some of that metal tape over it but uh, it's uh, procrastination. It's a disease. And uh, I definitely got it with stuff like that. Live up in Maine, minus temperatures, and I don't even fix a heater box. If anybody out there has a heater box for a you know 70s, 80s square body, no AC, no AC, just uh, straight up heater box metal but you know Come on. 